all right hey y'all welcome back it's anaya welcome to the soul now if you're new to the channel i represent the word of god so the enemy does not come to rob all right what's up guys what's up family so i have a quick message for you guys something that the lord just wants to emphasize again this is kind of a part two to the last video i just did about the pharisees are coming be prepared i really want to change it to you are prepared instead of be prepared because you already you already prepared all right all right brother all right sister you already prepared you already prepared but some things have been highlighted to me that i want to highlight to you guys so you know holy spirit help me so i can you know decrease me and increase you okay so a lot has been happening around me of course just you know my friends experiences my family's experiences and stuff like that they're experiencing the same things that i'm experiencing and whatnot and it's when you have okay i'll start off like this when you have the light in you when you have the lord's light within you you are going to attract bugs we all know this you know we we see the the lights and stuff outside when it gets dark and how the bugs are so attracted to it so you're going to attract many different things many different creatures of the night many different people with different spirits on them and stuff like that you're going to attract it attract them rather you know you have a good experience a good encounter with them or rather you have a bad experience or a bad encounter with them you're going to naturally attract these bugs these these spirits okay because as a child of god expect to have i don't want to say have your feathers uh, ruffled but there's going to be times and instances where the enemy is going to try you in ways to just see how strong, to see how committed you are to the Lord, to see if you are going to act like your father or not. There's going to be times. And I, I just want to tell you guys that, again, as I keep re reiterating stuff like that, as children of light, we have to be the light. We cannot sit here and take on the spirit of offense at this time. Because the enemy is already offended. So we cannot be offended at the enemy because he already lost. He can only be offended at the stuff that we do. So there's three scriptures that I want to uh, read before I give you guys my some of the things that I just went through recently. And some things that, you know, my friends and my family have went through, you know. I'm leaving names, all that stuff out, out, out the mix. But I just want to tell you guys that you are not alone whoever is feels like they're experiencing people coming down their neck or people trying to to try you you know as a child of god you are not alone you are not alone so the first thing that i want to read is i, I think i don't i think i, I want to read it in this order is again isaiah 54 verse 17 it says no weapon formed against you will prevail and you will oh wait yeah no weapon formed against you will prosper and you will prevail and you will refute every tongue that accuses you this is the heritage of the servants of the lord and and is their vindication from me declares the lord okay verse two warn a diversive person once then warn them a second time after that have nothing left to do with them verse number three luke ten twenty. However, do not rejoice that the spirits submit to you, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. So the one about the diversity thing, that is that is something that constantly plays in my head. And that is Titus 3 verse uh, 10. Titus 3 verse 10. Warn a diverse person once and then warn them a second time. After that, have nothing left to do with them. Okay. So, children of the only living God. Like I just said, there's going to be times where the enemy is going to try you through people and stuff like that. And to just give you an overview or the things that have recently happened. I'm sorry, a car just pulled up next to me. I'm getting distracted. But something recently that just happened, right? Um, that the Lord confirmed to me that, you know, I was okay, right? I was in the right because the lord again the lord is not a spirit of confusion he's going to send you confirmation after confirmation and stuff like that so pretty much they everybody it's like 
every single time i'm sorry guys but it's like every single time when i start recording a video or something like that and all of a sudden all these people want to start pulling up so i'm at the park right now there was nobody here i was in the car for a, a good smooth hour and some change talking on the phone with my mom because she was telling me her little her stories that just happened recently to her and all of a sudden people want to just start pulling up out the woodworks but we gonna the show must go on the show must go on so i say all this to say because several times multiple times there has been people trying to get me out of character to push my buttons essentially right and so as children of god of god and stuff like that uh followers of yeshua we do not sit here and let me let me let me figure out how to how to word this we're wise right so we don't back down from things you know just because they're too hard or they're too controversial or they're too this they're too that we don't back down however we are wise enough to know when to stop entertaining things when to stop going back and forth with people that's the same thing with yeshua right as i talked about in the other video there was many times when yeshua had to say something to the pharisees he had to answer them and he really didn't have to but there was times where he answered the pharisees because they were either mis construing his words trying to twist his words trying to twist the words of the lord and stuff like that he had to come and be like uh uh no that's not it so that goes to the to the scripture you know isaiah 54 verse 17 no weapon formed against you you will prosper and you will prevail and you will refute every tongue that accuses you so multiple times yeshua will always be like uh uh double back he will always be like nah that's not what i said that's not what my father said this and this and that but the Bible also states, warn a diverse person once and then warn them a second time after that have nothing left to do with them. So there's times where you're going to have to speak up and be like, nah. But then after a while, once you see that a person is not getting what you're saying, just be wise enough that you don't need to continue that conversation. That's what the Lord wants us to know at this time. Stop entertaining stuff that you know is going to constantly raise your blood pressure. Things that's going to constantly make you upset. That's going to take you outside of your character and outside your element. Stop entertaining that stuff. Because you said what you said. So today, right, I'm going to just use this one example. Because it's been, there's kind of been like on and on, on and off instances. Um, but there's one person. Oh, this is a, this is another thing. The reason why I wanted to use this specific example is because there's going to be family members. There's going to be close friends and stuff like that. That's going to try you. Don't think because y'all known each other for 15 years or 20 years that these people are exempt from trying you. Because again, as I, as, as I stated before in previous videos, people have spirits on them and they don't always understand how people have, how they have spirits on them. Because based on the things that a person does in their daily day life and stuff like that, thing provides access to the enemy to be able to use them, okay? And so sometimes they don't always understand this or they don't know that they're being used by the enemy. But as a child of the Lord, you have to be discerning rather you're speaking to that person or rather you're speaking to the spirit that is occupying that person at that moment. So this person, you know, they're in, I'll say they're in a close, they're in a, so I have a council, okay? I'll put it like this. I have a council, right? And this person is within my council. I'll say that. And so for the longest time, this, this person is always very hostile or very, uh, con not controversial, but very hostile and always is kind of con confrontational. That's the word I'm looking for. And so my other council members, they see this as well. And, you know, one of my council members, they see it, but they don't really want to say something all the time because it's just like it, it never changes with this person. It never changes with this person because this person is constantly always, con you know, wanting to start a fuss and stuff like that. But another one of my council members ended up speaking up, too, because 
no, what are you doing? Now you're just being disrespectful. And me, since I'm the leader of the group or I'm the leader of the council, I have no choice but to speak up. I can't just sit there and be silent because I am the leader. I am, you know, I, I, I'm in charge of the whole entire thing or whatever. Regardless of if we have our different functions, at the end of the day, I have the last say. So this person was getting a little bit crunk, getting a little bit too turned up. And I, initially, you know, I had to step in and be like, hey, this and this and that. And this person didn't like what I had to say. But at the end of the day, and so they came back and it was trying to be really like confrontational and trying to start something. And I was like, first of all, we're not about to get, go back and forth. I said what I said. Because again, the, the scripture always plays in my head. Warn a diverse person once, then warn them a second time. After that, have nothing left to do with them. Because I'm not about to act out my element because you want to act out of character. Because that's not who the Lord called me to be. Okay? Okay. So, I say all this to say again is to pick your battles wisely. That does not mean sit here and... Because like, like I said in the other video, the last thing that we want to do as children of the only living God is provoke. But unfortunately, we're going to provoke because the light of the Lord's light is within us. So the things that we say or the way that we hold ourselves um, accountable or the way that we, we walk or the way that we talk and stuff like that is going to irritate some people because they can't understand that... I don't, I'm trying to say this out of humility. So Lord, help me because I don't want to say, I don't want anybody to get a prideful spirit. I don't want anybody to be boastful or anything like that, but you hold yourself to a higher standard and these people can't figure out for the life of them why you're always up here and they're always down here. So all they can sit here and do is try to drag you down with them. But as children of the Lord, we don't do that. We don't do that around these parts because we cannot have the spirit of offense on us. It's either you said what you said and that's that. You don't got to go back and forth with nobody. So then, when you follow the ways of the Lord and stuff like that, the Lord is also going to bless you, okay? When you don't act out of character and stuff like that, when you resemble the Lord, the Lord is going to bless you, okay? Okay? The Lord is going to bless you. He has favoritism on you when you walk in the ways that the Lord has ordained. Again, I'm not saying you got to be a perfect A student and you got to be perfect and this and this and that. But for the most part, when you follow, when you follow the, the Lord wholeheartedly and you have a pure heart after his, he's going to bless you off the rip. Favor ain't fair. Favor ain't fair. Because not everybody's willing to follow the Lord like you, child. So they can't sit here. They sit here and be like, why is this person getting this? Why is this person so blessed? Because I'm following the Lord. I might not, you know, be a hundred spot on all the time. But at least a good 75, a good 85, I'm following the Lord. I'm listening to the Lord. So that's why that person's getting blessed. That's why the Lord is, you know, anointing everything that they touch because they're being obedient because they're being faithful to the lord that's why and so after this whole ordeal you know because at the end of the day we're flesh so after you know i carried myself and stuff like that and although this person got me kind of teed off kind of kind of hooked and i wasn't able to respond how i wanted to truly respond because this person was trying it, I was still a little bit turned. And, you know, it, it was my lunch break. So I went on lunch and, you know, I'm, I'm talking to the Lord and I'm like, Lord, like, you know, you seen, you seen, you know, because I always be like, Lord, you seen, you seen, because the Lord see everything. And the Lord was like, yeah, now go to Wendy's. I was like, yeah, I am kind of hungry. Let me go to Wendy's. Let me, let me calm down. Let me get that strawberry lemonade, you know no ice you know and so i get there and i order my meal my little chicken nuggets and my fries and uh strawberry lemonade with with no ice you know cooling it you know and i'm waiting for the lady to come take my car and you know they, they acting all weird and all frantic at the at the window 
And I'm like, what is up with these people? You know, I'm hungry. Like, your girl's hungry, you know. I got to go to an appointment after this. I'm just trying to chow down my food. And so she says, she opens the window. She says, oh, ma'am, um, actually, um, your food has already been paid for. And I was like, oh, my food been paid for. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. So I, I was mad hyped. So after this whole ordeal of homegirl teeing me off and stuff like that and me, you know, me not feeling it just based off of the way i handled the situation my food got paid for for free and i didn't even have to i didn't even have to come out of pocket now you know how usually there's a there's a train where like you know the person in front of you paid for the, for your food or whatever the case is um you pay for the person behind you but there was nobody behind me so i, I couldn't obviously start that but I think another reason why they was acting so frantic at the window because I don't even think the person in front of me actually paid for my food because that's why they were acting so confused. It was just it was just already paid for. So I say all this to say because this is this is what I don't want anybody to to think of. This is why the Lord had me also write down Luke ten twenty. However, do not rejoice that these spirits submit to you, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. So at this time, because there's another scripture too that's, that I think is in Proverbs, it talks about don't rejoice when your enemies fall or something like that. So I'm not telling you guys all this to walk in pride or to walk in uh, entitlement or anything like that. Because at the end of the day, the Lord was humble. Yeshua was humble. He knew he had his, his God-ordained purpose. He knew who he was, but he didn't sit over here and cast nobody aside. He didn't say, well, oh, I'm the child of the only living God. So bump y'all and blah, 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 blah. No, you still have to act in humility. You still have to act in love. But however, you have to sit here and hold yourself to a certain standard or a certain accountability that you cannot act out of character, that you cannot sit over here and act like a child of dark and go off the, the haywire. Now... Am I saying that there might be times where somebody really might be pushing your buttons and you 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 might have to knuck if you buck, you know, I'm not promoting violence or nothing like that. But you know, you there's going to be times where you might have to defend yourself and stuff like that if, you know, walking, walking away or anything like that. So I'm not just saying let somebody put them paws on you. No, I'm not saying that. But for the most part, all that, you know, cursing and, you know, da, 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 and that's why your mom, no. We don't need to be doing that as children of the Lord. We we walk in humility. We we walk in our in our authority that the Lord has given us. And that's just that and we keep it moving. Just know, you know, don't be getting hyped because, you know, the favor, don't let the favor get you so, you know, drunk. Don't be so drunk on favor that you forget how to treat another human being. Don't get so drunk on being a child of, you know, the only living God that you forget that there's other people out here too. Because what what is that? What does that scripture say? Um before um pride or a fall comes after pride, you know, I can't I don't know the address right now, so don't quote me. But you know, don't be prideful. Don't be prideful because I'm telling you, as soon as you get prideful, the Lord going to bring you down low. Just like he about to do to these Pharisees in this season, he about to bring them down low. He about to bring the church, the four wall churches that think that they just so untouchable. He about to bring them down real low in this season. Because there's a lot of Pharisees and Sadducees out here that just think that they are untouchable that they don't have to follow the same things as everybody else and we know that's a lie from the pits of hell because that's how the enemy got kicked out the enemy thought he couldn't the enemy thought that he didn't have to follow the the rules and regulations of all the other angels and guess what happened he got kicked out the kingdom so don't be sitting there and making the same mistakes as the enemy trying to be all prideful like oh yeah yeah you know i'm a child no 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 because the lord is not a no the Lord is not prideful. The King of Kings is not prideful. So we are not to be prideful. We are to walk in our authority. We are to understand our authority. 
We, we are not to abuse our authority. There's a difference. Ask the Lord to show you how to continue to be humble. That's why, that's another thing that I want to, to mention to you on this channel. Like, that's why the scripture, um, there's multiple scriptures that talk about, you know, kings and stuff. Like, let's look at David, right? David, he was in the fields. He was with the sheep and stuff like that. He was with the sheep, tending it, tending the sheep and stuff like that. It, it's like little baby steps. Like the Lord gives you a little at a time, a little at a time, one line at a time, one line at a time, because he's testing your heart because he knows for a fact that if he give you something out the woodworks, like he give you something like big, he know your heart not ready for that because you'll begin, you'll begin to be prideful. He got to prepare you. He has to prepare your heart for the bigger things to come. Because I know there's a lot of us, including myself, that's waiting for the big, big bangs. You know, the things that the Lord has promised us individually and stuff like that. And you like, Lord, where's that? The Lord is preparing your heart because he knows for a fact that if he gave it to you, now you would mess it up with your pridefulness. So this was just a quick message, a quick word. Um that i just wanted to let you guys know that don't be going back and forth with nobody especially when you know that this person isn't receiving the information that you're giving them and stuff like that don't be going back and forth with them but also you know continue to walk in your god-given authority your god-given power and stuff like that but don't rejoice that people submit to you don't rejoice that you you know get the last word or last say don't rejoice in that rejoice that you're that the lord finds favor in you rejoice in the fact that the lord sees your heart that the lord knows you rejoice in that don't re rejoice in oh this person thought you know they thought they had the last say don't rejoice in that because as soon as you do the lord gonna take all that he gonna grab it all back because we are to walk in humility as children of the light. So I love you guys. And I just want to come on here with this, this uh, short message. Peace.